and we want to come down through the Gosnell Creek and follow the Gosnell Creek until you hit the Maurice. Those two tributaries are the spawning channels of all the salmon that we consume today. All the salmon that we've relied on for thousands of years. The salmon that sustains ourselves and our culture is, is a, under threat because... Uh, need to understand that it's not just about the land getting polluted and the, and the traditional foods. It's also about people's health. And once you get dinged by these um, chemical illnesses that are rampant with oil exposure, especially with tar sands. Tar sands are concentrated in the heavy hydrocarbons that cause long-term long -term harm. Um, it, it, it's not something that you heal 100% from. It dings you for the rest of your life. You're in, in South Korea, the University of uh, South Korea, Seoul, uh, in Seoul, determined that children just breathing um, oil vapors over a long enough period of time can, can uh, damage DNA. I want them to hear local people that live here. This matters to us, right? Like, I'm... I mean, our children are gonna live here for a long time, right? What are we gonna leave them with? This is our home that we are preparing our children to, you know, for their future. And what future is, is it going to be for our children if it's totally destroyed? What are you leaving behind? Do you really give a shit what happens when you're gone? If you do, you'll be looking to make sure that you leave a better place for your children than what you've grown up in. And that's, that's what I want you to stop and think about. What I'm finding in British Columbia is that people are really starting to um, really concerned about the costs. They're thinking that the costs here in British Columbia hugely outweigh the promised benefits. They're not seeing this sort of rainbow, that, that uh, pot of gold at the end that the uh, pipeline people are promising. Their plan is okay. It's bullshit. It's not okay. The, the pipeline is not okay poison oil running across this country and rupturing into the creeks that run into the tributaries, that run into this river, that run in, runs into the ocean, they'll be destroyed forever. In Prince William Sound, Alaska, where the Exxon Valdez spilled, we are still waiting 23 years later for our herring uh, stocks to recover to the pre-spill numbers. Our herring fisheries are closed indefinitely until stocks recover. Scientists say they have no idea how long that will take. Scientists have really not studied oil spills uh, comprehensively over the long term. So these are questions that we're, we're putting decades on the answer and then a big question mark. You can't replace it when it's gone. Like once, you know, it's it, like this is, this project I see is one of those ones that's, it's like a, it's a turning point that if it, if it was approved, you would change this area forever. It would never be the same. You'd lose those cultures. They would be, they would be history. Whereas right now, they're living, they're breathing. And I hope that the rest of the country understands that this just isn't, you have to draw a line somewhere. And uh, this is ours for BC.